Ralston from New Albany, Ohio, has been named grand champion in the second annual Plugra European Style Butter Magnifique National Recipe Contest. This year's competition recognized the top compound butter blend. Terry is joining us tonight in the kitchen of Alana Restaurant, where she's preparing her winning blue cheese herb butter with walnuts recipe, alongside one of our city's top chefs, Chef Al Demiglio. Welcome to Alana Restaurant, located at 72 Madison Avenue. My name is Albert Demiglio, I'm chef partner here. Um, today, I have the honor and privilege of working with Terry Rolston, which is going to be showing us her flavored Plugra European style butter. Uh, she had entered a contest a little while back and won, so now we can call it an award-winning <laughs> Plugra, uh, flavored Plugra European style butter. Um, why don't you should get showing us? Okay, what I've got here today is actually a blue cheese herb butter. And um, it's so quick and simple to make. That's a wonderful thing I love about an, a flavored butter or a compound butter is that you can spice up a dish and add wonderful flavor very quickly. All right, so what I've got here actually is I've got the Plugra European style unsalted butter because you always want to control the amount of seasonings that's going into your dish. So we use the unsalted. So we've got this here. It's all nice and whipped and soft and fluffy and nice. Got that right there. And then we have the rest of our ingredients. I've got some fresh chopped chives. I've got some fresh thyme leaves, some garlic, some freshly ground black pepper, walnuts, and Maytag blue cheese. Okay, so ready to get started? Sounds good, let's okay. go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do actually is add in my herbs. Um, and the inspiration from this recipe actually were, were just things that I had in my own pantry. We have an herb garden out in the backyard, so I just went out to the herb garden and picked some things that I thought would work well together. So I got some chives, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of that. And then the fresh thyme leaves, and you only wanna use the leaves, not the woody stems, so you just take the leaves off and chop them up just like that. Also about a tablespoon of the thyme leaves. And then about a teaspoon of the freshly minced garlic, but you can adjust that to your own taste. That's a great thing about a flavored butter is you control what goes in it according to your taste. And then some freshly ground black pepper, and you always want to make sure that you use freshly ground. So that really adds. All right, I definitely run out. Yeah, run out and buy pepper mill for that. Yes, makes absolutely. A big yes. Um, so you just add in your herbs and the garlic and the pepper and get it all stirred together perfectly, just like that. And then you're going to add your other flavor ingredients. We've got some chopped walnuts here, and I usually use about a quarter of a cup, and I make sure that they're toasted because right. I think that really enhances the flavor. So about a quarter cup of nicely chopped walnuts. And then I use um, Maytag blue cheese, so just because that's what I use at home, that's what I like, but you could use any type of blue cheese. Right, um, yeah. And I also use about a quarter cup of that. You just add that in just like so. That's well, looking good already. All right, it smells really good too. Yeah. Compound butters are an excellent way for chefs and food enthusiasts to express their culinary creativity. They're perfect for adding bursts of flavor to entrees, vegetables, or even desserts. What makes this so much fun is that you can try any flavor combination that inspires you. From savory to sweet, the possibilities are endless. Now, what to serve with your fabulous Pluger butter creation? Well, Chef Al Demiglio has some great ideas, so let's take a look. Okay, now we're gonna go into what I prepared to go with her flavored butter, the blue cheese flavored butter. Um, she said she liked beef. Well, I'm doing a version of beef. It's gonna be oxtail. It's gonna be an open face oxtail ravioli. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do is take the pasta that I made. I took sheets of pasta. Inside the sheets of pasta, I rolled in some herbs that um, flavor well with her herb butter. So I do have a little bit of the thyme, a little bit of chive. I'm gonna throw those into the water right now get them boiling. It basically only takes about two, three minutes since the pasta is fresh and I just made it. Um, go into that. I'm gonna start by taking the pan and using a little bit of the Pluger European style butter in the pan to start uh, the stuffing or the filling. So we'll melt it down a little bit. Like I said before, you know, it, it, it doesn't have a lot of moisture so it doesn't bubble up too much, doesn't splatter so you won't get burned while you're doing it. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the carrot inside, a little bit of the leek. I'm going to pour in there now. I'm also going to take a little bit of the celery and cook that all down for right now. When this gets some nice color, I have some oxtail that I braised a little while before. 
and I'm going to fold that in there so that'll build some flavors. While that's cooking, I have another pan over here that I'm going to be cooking the beach mushroom with. Just get that a little hotter. Okay, the beach mushroom are right here. Just going to add them to the pan. Just give them a quick saute. And then basically I'm going to add everything back together into one pan. Um, while the pasta is cooking, what I want to do is I want to take just a little bit of butter, put it on a pan, so when I take the pasta out, it doesn't stick. So, like I said, it doesn't take that long. This way I can move it around a little bit. Everything's almost done right now. I'm gonna go into taking some of the oxtail that I braised before. Just put that right into the, the carrots, leeks, and celery. Just give that a little toss, just like that. Move this over, because that's what I'm gonna plate next. Mushrooms are almost done as well. And then just to finish, I'm gonna add a little bit of the chive into this, into the oxtail mixture. And then I'm gonna take the rest of the chive put into the mushroom mixture. So let that set, and then just basically the last thing I can do is optional if you like. Blue Girl also makes a, a good clarified butter that I have the sage right here with. And all I'm gonna do is drop a few pieces of sage leaf in there. They fry up, they're nice, they get crispy. And then that's it, I'm just gonna take them out. We could use those for garnish. Okay. That's basically it. Now, as far as plating goes, which is the best part, because now you're gonna get to eat it, um, I made a little bit of an onion puree as well. With the onion puree, I'm just gonna put it on the bottom. It goes good with the oxtail. It goes really good with the butter. So this way you have a little bit of uh, sweetness to go with everything as well. And then just to plate the pasta, just place a pasta sheet down. A little bit of the oxtail right on top. Another sheet of the pasta. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna put a little mushroom on the next layer. Another layer of pasta. Then another layer of oxtail. One more layer of pasta and then I'm gonna put Terry's blue cheese flavored Pluger butter. I'm gonna put that right on top. And I'm gonna basically flash it in the broiler for a little bit. This way, this is gonna form almost into a sauce. That's gonna go on top and that's gonna give a little bit of sauce, a little bit more flavor. And I'm just gonna take this, put it right in the salamander, not for long, just until the butter melts a little bit and it forms a sauce, gets a little caramelized. Okay, now it kinda, of, yep, it's definitely ready. It's got nice caramelized on top. The cheese is melted, the walnuts got toasted, the pasta got a little crispy on the top. Last thing we're gonna do is the sage that we fried in the uh, Pluger butter, clarified butter. Um, basically just gonna put a little couple of pieces of sage leaf, gives it a little extra flavor, give it a little look. That's it, and now we're gonna give it to Terry to try. Hopefully she'll like it as much as I do. All right, thanks for waiting. Oh, great. So basically I have the open-faced oxtail ravioli, which you butter melted on top to make a little sauce, and I got a little toasted on top. You ready to try it? Oh, fabulous, I'm so excited. All right. Mmm, yum, the smell is amazing. I know, oh my right? Gosh, it really yes. came out nice. And the Absolutely. sauce, it made a great sauce on it, and oh. the pasta got a little crispy on top too. Yes, So buttery and delicious. Wow, you can't go wrong with butter. No. Let's try. Oh my god, <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. That's a great butter, mm. right? I I think it came out great. Fabulous, excellent. Couldn't yeah, be better. Mm. For sure. Yum. Better eat it fast. I might eat yours too. I don't know. I don't think there's going to be any left. <laughs> I might have to get a second second helping.